Yeah, I have a 1976 Yamaha YZ400C that I purchased as a roller from a gentleman in Ludington, Michigan in April of 2022. And here's the bike now. And as you can see, does not have the original motor as it was missing, but it now has a DT250 bottom end and an MX250 top end. It has the VMX reproduction fenders and DC side covers, along with a period aftermarket Skyway silencer but what makes this particular bike unique is that it was one of 10 reproduction models if we look at the VIN number here we see 510-100007 the regular production would have been 510-1-00101 through 2838, meaning a total production of 2737 for this model. And if we look at the date codes on the rims, we can see 583F for the front. That's the type the date code is a 56 c meaning it was manufactured in june of 1975 and if we look at the rear we see a 583r for the rear with the 56 B date code. So also June of 75 for production on the rims. So that confirms the early build of the bike. Now a YZ400C for 76 should have had the air forks in the front. But I believe being an early production model, they weren't Quite ready yet so this bike has a 75 mx 400 front end on it regular forks if we look at the original factory brochure for the yz 400 c we can see the cover photo shows a bike without the air forks maybe the bikes on the cover is a 75 mx 400 knows maybe somewhere down the line somebody changed the whole front end out for an mx 400 for front end because they didn't like the air forks which were a common problem on these bikes they just didn't like them and if we look at the mono shock on this particular bike we can also see the, VIN num the serial number on the shock is 000011, which also confirms the original early, early production on it. So I'll be looking for an early 400 motor for it now. But right now, there you go. Thanks for checking it out.